So welcome to Rap Talks, aka Rap Podcast. I'm Diego, and we have the amazing special guest, Ashley Santiago, on the other, on the other end. <laughs> Today we're going to talk all about her and see what she does and her business and life in general. So That's awesome. tell us. I know, well, since we're at your business, you might as well tell us a little bit about your beauty business, how it got started and yes. what you do exactly how there. How it got started? That's like a <laughs> Briefly. Way back, way back. No. Um, so, hey, guys, my name is Ashley. I am owner and founder of Lashy Brows Beauty. Mm-hmm. And basically how I started my business was, I would say like four years ago, I started working in a studio and I did not want to work for anybody else, basically. So I just kind of like hustled for a couple of years and became the best of the best. And after that, I just kind of started my business from home, building my clientele. And after only four months of doing that from home, I got my own studio. And then a year after, I have my salon now, which I am just building right now. So that's basically a little short term, you know, but it's been a while. It's been a work in progress for sure. And I just got to keep growing from there. Amen. Yes. I mean, you can go nationwide. I'm just saying. What like, happened? What did you say? Yeah, you, you're here now. You can go nationwide. You can go state. You know, the possibilities are endless. Oh, I love that. I love that. I mean, franchise or something. Like, actually, my cousin has a, a restaurant in Colombia. And I always tell him, like, dude, cool. the food is amazing. Like, you can, and the way they market it and everything, I'm like, if you really wanted to, you can literally become a mini franchise. But He's you know, like, the yeah. thing is, I feel like, for me personally like I will love that but it's just like maintaining the core I feel like sometimes like being a franchise everybody's gonna do their own thing and it's really difficult for me like I feel like I micromanage a lot of things so for me it's like yeah I'm like for me it's like I wanted to stay pure to myself and what you know what you know, because this is a part of me. This is my baby. This is like everything yeah. that I've built. So I feel like there's ways to do it. But I feel like when franchising, you kind of lose a bit of that, you know, because it becomes yeah. more just like, it becomes more of just like money, like just making as much money. And for me, it's not about that. And you, you know? lose a little bit of control too. Like you, you oversee it, but there's in the end of the day, people, you're not there at every, like, let's exactly. say that, that location. You're not there. Exactly. You know? And for me personally, it's not about the money. It's really just about like customer service. Like I'm so into like my clients and like that energy. So I feel like we need to find a way to make a franchise for sure. We need to find a way as possible, but that's my only kind of yeah. hold back. Yeah, on. yeah. For now, blow up yours, you know, get, yeah, you, never know. you know, enjoy it for now. Later, later, like if you want to, you know, you can, or it has to be somebody really trustworthy okay. or like, even no. just two locations. Like my, you know, I don't know, Miami or Fort Lauderdale and then Boca, something like that. But that's it. You don't go, you know. Yeah. No, I mean, how you said the possibilities are endless, you know, but my main thing is always staying true to myself. That's that's, that's very important. important thing. Yes. And I know you also kind of like model a little bit. Yes, thing. yes. I used Both to, back. honestly, I was really into modeling. Like, I feel like 2020, I feel like I was really into it and I loved it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, modeling is a full-time job too. You know, some people think that you're a cute girl, like just put a bikini on, take some pictures. (laughs) But when you're out there in the hot sun, okay, sweating, your makeup's coming off through your face and you're like sucking in for your dear life, like that is work, okay? That is so much work. Yeah, no, it's, it's a lot. So I was doing, I really enjoy modeling and just kind of, it's really fun to me. I feel like I've been very photogenic. Thank God, God bless me with that, that. but it's just like a second job to me. So now I'm just really focusing on my business and just going full on, but I can't neglect it. I cannot neglect it. You know, every now and then like, okay, you know, if you're down to shoot, let me know. Let me know. I'm down to shoot. Hey. I'm always trying to get, you know, get the neck with people, like shoot. I always tell people, like when I shoot, I don't like just shooting and be done with it. It's like, oh yeah, bye. It's like, I shoot, okay, I just met someone new, you know, friend, whatever, like. It's like a bond, yeah. 
some people are just like, oh, shoot, oh, bye. I don't want to see you ever again. It's like, dude, I'm not just like, oh, hey, I'm just a photographer guy. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, How did you ooh. get into um, photography? Yeah. Oh, how'd, I, how'd I get into it? Yeah. You know, the, the biggest was when I was in college because I took a photography course. Hmm. And I got, that's where I got my first actual, like, legit DSLR camera. And then, you know, we had an assignment and then I was just like in it. I was like, man, I just love taking pictures. And ever since then, just love, you know, sometimes I know when it's like, it just evolved from that to just like anywhere I go, especially if I feel it's going to be interesting or outside the area. I'm like, I just take my camera with me. Like, you never know. I might shoot. I could be that one guy in a bridge shooting in the city. They'd be like, what's he doing? I was like, dude, you know what I'm doing? I'm shooting. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, what's so crazy. I feel like, one of my one of my dreams which mm-hmm. i haven't told anybody this so you're going to be the first one <laughs> i literally would love to be a videographer like a music video director wow. i really feel like i would be so fire oh doing yeah that. you have like, the skills to like the angles like the concept like when i was modeling mm-hmm. that's all i would do i would go into a set and i will literally tell them what to do oh wow that's good i know and they just let me they were just like okay like my that's ideas good. i was like you need to have the camera here and ever since then i'm like you know what i will really rock it yeah. out yeah you already have the director role right there like yes that's, that's what I'm good. saying. That's what I'm yeah, saying. So, here. Do this. Do this. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. That's it. That's it. Give me the camera. I'll record it too. Like I'm I can help that a little bit. So if you need my help ever, let me know. I would just now I know if we shoot. I already know it's expensive. Oh my god! I'm gonna be telling you what to do all the time. Oh okay. Oh, yeah. We got like sometimes I'll, it'll happen where I'm shooting and like I'll have ideas and then once I kind of did them, I'm like, okay, well now we can have some fun whatever you know anything goes and sometimes like depending on the person you might be like oh i don't know but you'll be like oh you know i got it look look right here we can oh yeah like, all right yeah let's try that you know <laughs> bounce ideas i feel like that's really what it is and i feel yeah. like that's a, like the fun part because you right. as a photographer you're coming in and you have a vision you know what you want to do and the model kind of knows like what her what she wants to do too but once you yeah. guys come together and like for me, like I'm just a person that I'm down for anything. If you told me like do a headstand, I'm gonna shoot you like this, I will fucking you hold it for an hour. That headstand. Like I will kill it. Like I I don't know how I'll be holding on, but I will do it. Hey, so man. it's all about like, you know, it's about the body. I I, that, that's what it always comes down to. I always enjoy it. That's the funnest part. Cause then I always tell people, like, okay, hey, I have you know, I have these ideas, but you have ideas too. Like, don't do what I just want to do. Yeah, I'm yeah. down to do almost anything and we'll make it, we'll make it work, make it happen. However we got to do. That's so, awesome. And it comes out even more amazing sometimes. It's like, yeah. oh, this, this yeah. unexpected, but look, look at that, you know? So, and you, so we need to just do it. We need to just get it. We'll, do it. we'll get, we'll get the, yeah, we got plenty of stuff planned. Yes. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you originally, I know from the Puerto Rico. Yes. Right? Wow. Some good I, I want to say something. I'm like, no, Puerto Rico. I think I know. Yes. Puerto Rican, a hundred percent. Food, everything. Yes. Yes. Ooh, I don't know how to cook some mofongo, so I can't tell you that I know. Let me guess. What's what your favorite? What happened? Is mofongo, your favorite? Or yes, not? that is my favorite. That is my favorite. Ooh. I was just there, like literally about a week ago. And oh, yeah, yeah. I gained, I, I gained, I was trying to go to the gym while I was eating too. I was like, okay, I'm going to eat this, Time but I'm going to go to the gym to, you know, maintain. You know, you eat and you work it out. That's it. You know? That's it. That's it. You just burn it off. You just burn it off. I mean, so, yeah. I, I think I was going to be meeting Colombia. I'm going there in August. I love food. That's so I'm like, I'm going to be eating like crazy, but luckily I have a fast metabolism and I'm going to be, I'm not just going to be like sleeping all day. I'm going to be doing stuff. So I hate you. It works. Metabolism is like, no. Like, I feel like, a, yeah, God bless you. God. Mm. I think that's one of my, I'm going to be this. Colombia food is life. so hard. I actually was thinking about going to Colombia. Um, it's, I will find it. I'm going to see how it is. It's been three years since I last went. So I'll see how it is. What part from Colombia? Well, now do you want, well, if you're from there, you know it, but it's called Bucaramanga. Oh, is that like in the mountains? It's in the mountains. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like the, the airport legit is in the top of the mountain. So when you land and to get to the city, like where my grandma lives, you have to go down the mountain. It's almost like you're in California or something, like seeing the whole city. I'm like, this is this will never get old. My grandma, she lives like literally on a mountain too. Like you have to like go all the way down too. And that's like my favorite place in the whole wide world. So I feel like and there we go. I'm coming to your grandma's house. That's it. I'm, I'm going yeah, to Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I knew a friend, let me tell you. And he's Ashley. And okay. luckily, he knows Spanish. So it'll be easy. Does she cook? Does she throw it down in the kitchen? That's like the biggest thing. Well, yeah. Well, she hasn't made, but she, I mean, the food is every time they're amazing. Mm-hmm. All she tells is, like, we're going to make this. And obviously, she has all the recipes. So that's, that's it. And plus, you got so many restaurants now. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's already about three or four. Travel, you need to go with somebody that knows, like the place. My, cousin, my cousins were just there, and they told me, "Oh, Diego, there's this great place right next to Grandma's house." I'm like, "Guess what? That's exactly where we're going when I go." So <laughs> you just yeah, because you know, you know, because for me, I love to travel like all the time. Like I, that's like my second most favorite thing wow. other than business. Yeah. It's actually my first, but we'll we'll talk about that. <laughs> we'll talk about this. Um, yeah, we won't talk about that. No, but whenever I travel, it's like I literally wish that I knew someone from the area that I can just be like, hey, like, where should I go? Because oh, they, gee, yeah. You just know. You just, they just know. I feel like, you know, I mean, what? if you go to Puerto Rico, I'm here for you. I know all this. I, I discovered this. Um, I'm curious one day maybe to try in Medellin. There's actually like a VIP tour. I guess you can write, like, when you go there, you register and they'll take you around the whole city. And you can, and they'll take you to the best spots. And I'm like, I didn't know. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they had it, but I didn't know what it was called or that what it yeah. was. And I'm like, that's something interesting to try one day. Like, if you don't know Medellin, you just go there. I was, my boss yeah. is like, if he traveled there, he's like, I just took a tour and then went through the whole city. They show me what's good. And that's it. I'm like, not a bad idea. That's amazing. Yeah. That Saves you the so hassle. Good. Yeah. And I, but you know, the thing with those is like, I feel like for me, if I did that, I will like wander off and like lose the people <laughs> and then like, I'll be lost in the middle of the city. Like, where did everybody go? Like, like so oh, I, I have to be careful with that. Like, oh, we're missing one, pl- one person. Um, oh, oh, well. Yeah, bye. No, seriously. That has happened to me so many times, literally. Like, I'm like in a tour and like yeah. I just go my own route and then I've gotten lost. Like, so, and after you're like, oh shit, I gotta get back now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's it's bad. It's but that, is, that is super lit. I need to definitely try that because I want to visit Colombia. Colombia is like on my bucket list. On your bucket list? It will, it'll come to your watch. On yeah. your, I'm in Colombia. Like, this is amazing. I'm going to be calling you, Diego. I'm going to be like, hey, where you at? Um, where Are you going to Colombia trip soon? So uh, I think we should go. Sure. Yeah. Hop on. Let's go. I want to go to Thailand this year for my birthday. Thailand. Wow. Yes. Oh. Yes. I wonder how that will be. I know. I was in between Thailand and Turkey, which mm-hmm. is like total opposites. But Turkey has been my dream too, so I'm just like really torn, like between both. But yeah. Thailand, I can wear a bikini and be half naked. So hey, I'm why not towards Thailand? Yeah, I can actually be free there. That's yeah, that's little- right. <laughs> People are not gonna look at me weird. Because, you know, Turkey, like, I feel like I have to be, like, more covered up. It's going to be more, like... Like a whole entire jacket on you and stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm actually from America. This stuff. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I really feel like I'm probably going to blend right in. But I know me and, like, my my clothing attire is really... It's it's hot. It's hot and sexy. And that's not going to work in Turkey. So I'm not ready for that yet. So Thailand, it is. Rock it good. So it's like, I'm, Turkey, what's up? You guys can handle that? Listen. Nah, no, I'll probably get kidnapped. And like, like oh, look at that girl. <laughs> we're going to look back at this like recording and be like, oh, shit. But no, we're not going to. Yeah, the one time she actually ended up going to Turkey. I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, my God. So Diego, wow. let me know if you want to come to Thailand. Maybe you can be my personal photographer. I'm down for it. I mean, shoot. Someone's got to be taking I'll a picture. Well, you like, can only do so many selfies. Come on. I'm telling you, I heard, listen, Thailand is where it's at. You can see some great photos. I think I've seen videos of that. And it's just like, shoot, everywhere. I mean, you know what? Everywhere outside of here is mostly amazing for the most part. 
Do you not like it here? I love it here. I mean, it's, don't get me wrong. It's nice. I'm here my whole entire life. I feel like I'm missing out on like these other places. That's where you get to travel. Uh, that's my, that's actually one of the dream things I want to get. Like if I can just get some gigs or a job that like, just like, Hey, I need, we need you to travel here, here, here. Oh my God. Thing, I'd be like, I am in, sign me up. That would be me. That would be me. I right, don't say less. Just pay my plane ticket, hotel and stay concluded. I'm good. Thank you so much. You know, I I'd, be, I'd be a happy man. If you find a job like that, let me know. And I will like, Franchise my business and <laughs> go travel the world. The guy, can I bring my friend with me? Because she, she's actually my personal assistant. So listen. Yep. Yes. Yes. Very important. I'm the director. I'm the director. Okay. Get it right. Get it right. Sure. I'm going to yeah. like just guide you through everything. No, that it's is so good that though. you said that because I've been looking on TikTok and I see all these like influencers like traveling. I'm like, what are they doing? Because I need to be one of them. I always wonder, like, I know that. They post up traveling, you know, you can, you know, it makes you wonder like, okay, you're either a, you happen to be traveling there on like a vacation yeah, or B you're actually like, you know, because it, for example, I have a friend that he, he literally, I don't know how he does it. Sometimes I ask myself a question all the time. He's always going somewhere. Like he's always like, he'd be like, Oh, I'm going to Florida. I'm going to New York. I'm going to Chicago. Oh, I'm going here. I'm like, how are you like, dude, you know, I have, I mean, I work. Huh? How are you paying your bill? I, I'm thinking, like, first off, how are you paying? And second off, I mean, I'm, I know you work. Like, how, how are you able to just like? And it'd be like two weeks, three weeks. I'm like, bro, I'm I gotta rely on like PTO. <laughs> Freaking may have like thirty vacation days, but I can't just like go off and oh, let me just go to like three different states, you know, and expect not, you know, to like low money I'm like that. That's contact him and see what he's one doing. at a time for me. <laughs> You have to contact him and see what he's doing because honestly, like, I feel the same way. I'm like, what are these people doing? The other thing I realized, um, the whole the flight miles thing. Mm. I've been thinking about that. My my boss does that, but of course he uses a company card. Mm. Um, and I'm like, oh, but I've, I have other friends too that actually do that. They're like, oh, they're always traveling somewhere. I'm like, yo, I, oh, you know, I got the points, I got the miles, I got I'm like, well, how do you get? Oh, first off, tell me about this miles thing. Yeah, and yeah. You get free flight or something? It's like, oh, you accumulate miles and you get like discounts mm -hmm. on flights or you get like, you know, sometimes yeah. a free flight every now and then, but yeah, I take it like right away. And I'm like, that's something good to know. I yeah. got to keep that in mind for the future. Good. I mean, he's right. So, what was the other thing? Oh, where we go? Your eyelash business. Oh, so I've seen the other thing I've seen is a lot of videos of your dad there. What happened? I've seen Ran. I've also seen some other videos, like your dad in the background and him doing something. I'm like, let me guess that. Yes. He's a big role model in the life, huh? Yes. No, we've been doing, because I've been doing the workout videos. I don't know uh -huh. if you've seen them. And they've been doing pretty well, which is so, it's so odd, but. You never know. Yeah, you never know. And I was like, um, you know, I've been on TikTok. I've been talking about TikTok, but they say that everything is content. So I go to the gym a lot. And I'm like, you know what? I need to just start posting like everything, like my gym, everything. Routine. And then my dad loves the gym too. So when I was up in Puerto Rico, I was like, mm. dad, like, let's do, let's do a reels right now. And he was <laughs> so down for it. He was like yeah. bringing it. I'm like, yes, dad. Yes. You got this. We literally got like 6,000 views. Like, I mean, that might not seem like a lot, but like to That's me, and my dad, I was like, whoa. Oh yeah, right, listen, there's 6,000 people that viewed us. Just think about that for a second. Let it sink in. What? <laughs> That's so fun. Fun. And then later on, he like wanted to do more. He's like, let's see if we get more. I'm like, okay, dad, calm down. <laughs> I did that one for fun, but I mean, if you want to get in on this, we're going like, to talk about it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're going to have to sign a contract, okay? Because like, uh, this is not for free. It's not for you for my channel to get your, you know, your little famous out here. So listen. I know, I know. And I really feel like my dad would be a great, like, he's really good in the camera too. He loves taking pictures too. Maybe that's why I got it. I got it from him. But, you, you know, like back in the day, those little cameras that you used to like scroll. like. Oh, the, the little, oh my goodness, the Kodak ones. Oh, yes. Like, yes. You know? yes. My dad was always taking pictures of me. Like I always remember him just like taking pictures of everything. He probably, would, honestly, in the past life, he was probably a photographer. We never know. He could have, like, he might one day tell you that, you know, 
I used to be a true photographer back in the day. Like, oh, oh, my you should see my pictures. He was an A1 photographer. And now oh. that's why I like modeling too. I see it. Yeah. It's all yeah. kind of down now. He tells me all the time, like he wants to send, like he wants all their pictures, but some pictures I'm like, dad, this is not for you. Like you can't see these. These are a little bit too sexy, but he loves yeah. it. He loves, like he loves to see it. I'm like, okay. He's like, you know, if you, if it's cool. That's me. No, he's down. He's down. He will listen when he was here for vacation because I went to Puerto Rico to go get him mm. to come over here. He was like my A1 photographer. Like he was taking, wow. yeah, he was doing his thing. He was getting in one knee. Like he was really he trying was to get his angles. I'm telling you, this wow. man, I was like, my husband needs to have the same energy. Like, <laughs> you better be like taking them photos. You guys are going to do that? Then we're going to have we have to talk, you know what I'm saying? That's insane. You're, That's you're, you're, you're a dude that can do photography. This happens to be a photographer. Because you imagine, that would be like the most amazing oh my God. Like thing ever. I've seen videos like that too, that girls are like, when you're when you're a model and like your boyfriend's a photographer and like they take awesome fucking content, I'm like, yo. I mean, come on. You've seen those couples on like TikTok sometimes. I'm like, come on. I actually have a friend that hit. Um, I don't know how I feel. Like cool. I'm not the jealous type, but I don't know how I feel if my boyfriend was a photographer, like shooting all these sexy models. Like I, I don't think that I will like that. Honestly, you'd be like, listen, as long as you know, I am yours. No. You know what? Honestly, it's not even about the guy itself. I feel like it's more about the girls because. Some girls nowadays don't have any respect, you know? So I feel like I would trust my man. I just wouldn't trust the girls. Oh, girl, the girls would try to, like, you know, do something. Especially, I mean, it would be, like, if the guy to the girl is attractive or whatever. Guarantee you they're going to try some slick move. Like, it'd be... That's you know, what I'm be, saying. They'd be lying and they said no. That's what I'm saying. I don't think that I will, I will trust, like, and I'm telling you, like, I'm not a jealous person, but I just really? feel like, you know, what if you're like in the moment and I don't know, like shit, like shit could go down. Shit could happen. Yeah, you know? I, happen. I had a buddy of mine that um, he was a photographer and I mean, he was, well, wait, for a while he was with someone. I remember that. And he would, I mean, he, all he shot was women, but I'm not just any woman. Like I'm talking like sexy like, women. Oh, yeah, oh and God. he's like, I went to his house once and he showed me and he's like, yeah, you know, she doesn't really care. Sometimes he said something, but you know, I, I keep it professional. That's so awesome. Why, man, he told That's me that story. Like, I'm like, bro, come on. When you meet someone like, and you know that he's a photographer, like those are things that you have to consider, you know, consider in between like, okay, like he is, that is his job. You can't really change. Yeah. What he does, you know, but I just, I've personally met some photographers that are just like, that have girlfriends too, and it's just like, bro. Yeah, if you have a girlfriend, you better keep this professional. Don't even try anything. It's just straight up, you know. There's, there's a fine line. Yeah. <laughs> you that know, if you cross crazy. it, done. I don't. I don't know. I don't think I could do it. I don't think I could have a a photographer that's like. Unless he is a photographer that doesn't shoot models, he shoots other stuff like let's just say cars, or he's like a travel photographer. Or it does a little bit of everything. Like they're, they're little, you know, but not like, oh, I'm a model photographer. But like, oh, are you not? Well, yeah, I'm talking. So it's also like, like doing the collapse because some photographers don't charge to do like photos all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, some just want to collab. You know, if you're getting paid, then that's different. But if you're doing collabs, like just I don't know, I don't. Know. It's, a, it's a touchy, it's a touchy subject. It, it, that it, one is like, mm, I don't know. I had to have with a, I think I did with one photographer friend of mine. He, I collabed with him, but I did video and he shot and we talked about like, wait, so how does this work? Like, okay. You know, it's basically all our times here. So it's kind of weird or like rude if we charge the model when technically speaking, she should be getting paid too. So it's like, it was always a, you know, I'm like the only way that it can work is if like a client hires you and hire the model so they pay both of you but if you're seeking the model it's always like a ooh, you know like do you want to do you know you pay her but then wait even if she asks for money it's like wait what am i making because that's my time too <laughs> so it's like you gotta find an even ground so i try i i mean i'll admit i don't do too many collabs anymore i do collabs every now and then depending 
but I try not to do it too much because then I realize like, oh, wow, I'm dedicating all this time to shooting pictures. And of course I edit them and I'm like, wait, I'm not, oh, you think, oh, cross exposure. Yeah, I feel like it, comes out of it. it has to be a balance, you know, and that's with yeah. everything in life. You have to have a balance and, you know, if, if you feel like the model itself is like promoting you and your business mm. and you guys are both helping each other, then it's a win-win. But if it's more right. like, Hey Diego, I just got some fire swimsuit swim so it's like, do you want to shoot? And it's kind of like for you, like that's not correlating with your business, then it's then she should pay you. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But if it's something that is mutual, then that's when I feel like it should be a collab. And especially with like a friend, they'd be like, Hey, I got you know, I got this idea. Like, what do you think? We should try it. Okay, let's go. You know, I'm down. Something like that. But if it's somebody requesting a specific shoot, yes. Hey, I need only yeah. yeah. pictures. Hey, guess what? I charge for that. <laughs> you, know? yeah, you have to. Exactly. And, and same thing goes for like my business too. Like there's some people that I have to set boundaries that it was like, you know, my aunt be like, hey, I want my lashes, but they don't want to pay full price for the lashes. And it's like, yeah. Didi, like, I'm sorry. Like you got to pay full price. Like, and uh-huh. they don't want to do it. Then they're just like, well, whatever, you know? It's like, are but you going to give me like a big mahongo or are we going to... You know, we got to look out the payment. Are you going to cook for me or what? Like, what's going to happen? It's got to be equivalent here of the price that I'm going to charge you. Oh, yeah. It's because it's your time. And time is so valuable. You know, I feel like time is the most valuable thing. And, I mean, you know me. Like, I'm always, literally always busy. Um, It could be a good thing. It's weird. It's weird if you're not. I need to have a balance, so I need to have a balance. But you made this happen, which is good. Ooh. I know, I yeah. know, because yeah. Diego, you've been hunting me down. You're like, let's do this, let's do this. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah. Yes, this is going to be fire. We need to do this. We Absolutely. Do I'm going to make time for this because if we don't do it, we're never going to do it. And we're wondering, why didn't we do it? Oh. And it's how I told you, like, honestly, like, I just I just told myself I'm going to win this and it's going to flow because, you know, those are like, yeah. that's how the best things happen sometimes. You just flow with it. And I'll just come up with questions on the fly and be like, that's it. You know, it's not like, I feel like if it's way too structured, you, people can tell. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. he's reading off a script. Oh my God. That's not, but like podcasts are generally like, they're open. It flows. It flows. Yes. You just talk about something. It could be any topic. I watch the, actually one of the ways I really got influenced to do podcasts is watching these two dudes. They're really funny. They're, they're known as, um, the podcast is known as Uh-Oh Podcasts. And they're hilarious. They talk about any, like anything. It could be like a day in their life. It could be, oh my God, what movie did you watch? And I'm like thinking, dang, you know, so it could be anything. So I thought, oh, let's just go by my interest and I'll just start, you know, I'm not going to do it on my own. Like me talking to myself on camera, but like, I'll just start reaching out to people and be like, Hey, you want to do a podcast? You do this. Oh, cool. We can talk about that. Or, you know, I just did one the other day with a friend of mine of stranger for stranger things. Oh my god! You watched the fourth season. I can't get into it. Oh away. my god, so good! I just finished last night. That's so you good. finished it. Okay, so you know, we basically reviewed the fourth season because we're like, listen, in honor of Stranger Things, we both watched it. We both loved it. We yeah. have to do it. She's like, I'm down, dude. Let's do it. So we literally just talked about like Stranger Things, what we liked about it. So it's just stuff like that. Like anything you feel like, oh, this would be an interesting, cool topic to do. Let's just connect tonight. You know, we'll listen. Zoom in. Content. Everything is content. It goes back. To, you know, literally, everything is content and. So, you know, the way that you do things, some people are going to correlate with it and some people are not, but just like talking about certain things, like that's, you just have to put it out there. That's really it. It's come to the point where even when I'm, let's just say shopping, I tend to do this now. When I buy stuff off Amazon, especially if it's like camera gear, Mm. I get it or shoes or just something like a value that's going to be like, I'm going to be using a lot. If it's worthwhile, before I even get too much of using it, I'm going to review it. That's it. Yeah. Like, oh, this, this will be sick to review. Okay, before I even open it, I got to do an unboxing. Yeah, <laughs> like, literally, yes. I no, that first no. thing. I'm like, I just got these uh, these new, like, on running shoes. And I was like, okay, before I wear them out too much, I have to do, like, a review video. I'm going to use it for a little bit, but I'm going to do a review video. Guarantee that's got to happen. No, oh, that's literally me. I just don't get to it. I'm like, you know what? Like, I'm the same way. Like, I get, like, some, like, stuff, like, some clothes from online. And I'm like, I'm going to review it. And it's like, 
that you wear it and then it's kind of like not reviewable anymore. Like, dang it, why do you wear it? <laughs> I wore it already and yeah. but no, that's that's the best way to do it. Everything is like before you even open it, you have to get shots at least of the you know the product itself. And you can use it. And then you can be like, hey, I use this thing. It's amazing. Look at my skin. It's really good. Like, you know, <laughs> sometimes, honestly, all, all my review videos, 90% of them are unscripted. I just, I'm just That's talking from like the, the heart. <laughs> That's amazing. Listen, go yeah. on TikTok. Go on TikTok. I'm on TikTok. I'll yeah. go on TikTok. I think, wait, you're on it too, actually. Yeah. I kind of post the same things that I kind of post on, on Instagram too. Let me see here. Yeah, do I have you? I don't. <gasps> How dare you? So disrespectful. Oh my goodness. Wait. Is it wait, is it I think it's also La Preta too, right? What happened? Is no, it it's actually Lashley Browse. I changed it. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh I I'm following. We're good. Yeah, it's wow. kind of the same concept. Okay. And your client leaves looking like snacks. <laughs> That's good. What? When your client leaves looking like a snack. Oh yeah, I'm I'm funny on there too. I'm hilarious. I need you to have some, you have some humor. I think I found that that one you posted. I think it was uh. Oh, what do you do? You have an office? What do you live? <laughs> oh yeah, the one was like dating. Yeah, like business. when you're a business woman, you're a business. I'm like, you know, that is actually true in my at this stage of life. It's not about like oh. I just want to go out and have fun. Uh, it's like, no, no it has to be like yeah, a, a whole list. I have a whole waiver. Like when I go on a date, I'm like, okay, sign here, sign here. Um, and I ask all the questions, you know, and then. That's it. Like I, this time around. In high school, you know, it's like you're having fun. But when you, after, I say after college and you're really working, oh, your whole perspective changes. It's not, it's not like, oh, I just want to go out with a bunch of girls. Da, 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 da. It's almost like, you know, I think I just think about future now. I, mean, I think like, hey, I kind of want to be with someone. Like they're working, they have the life together. You know, they. It's not like they're lazy or they just want to party all day. Which, absolutely not. That's a no. That's a red flag for me. Anybody yeah. like, every a day. Party. Yeah. Right, yeah, fun, but like not like oh, like I've met a couple of girls that you can just tell they just you know all they want to do is party. They don't they don't want any really. I don't want a guy. I just want to do this. You know, I just want to have fun. I'm like, all right, do your thing. Whatever. Bye, not with me. <laughs> Bye. I'm gonna be working, making money, and oh, yeah, yeah. getting myself skyrocketed. So you have fun now. That's why you have to have standards. I feel like that's where like your yeah. standards come in, and like how you said, like you meet a girl and you're like, okay, she's partying, and like that's not gonna correlate with yeah. my lifestyle. You know, that's not gonna work out. Nope. Then you have to just cut it off. You know, some I people hate. just stay in that because I feel like they are scared to be alone, and they just stay. I, mean, I don't even know. Like they just stay on that. But for me, like I'm the same boat. I'm like I have certain things that I need, and if you don't have those qualities, then I would just stay by myself. Plus, so you got a business you're running. Like, yes. Like, if I'm gonna make time for you, it better be freaking worth it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking down my day, and you know oh, I got, I'm yes. running this. So I know. I know. It's not like I, oh. I feel like for a lot of guys, like that's really intimidating. You know that I have built so much that. It's a little intimidating, but I love it because I'm like, listen, if right. you can do that. I do the same with girls. Like if, if I feel like if I feel like a certain someone is not, you know, I already I can tell usually like it'll be a hunch. I'll get like a hunch, you know, depending on their attitude and the way like they live sometimes. I'd be like, no. Or like, you know, if they mess up on the let's just I remember I did one time happen with this was years Ooh, and years. Tell ago. me the tea. Tell me the tea. Ooh, this Ooh. is gonna get juicy. Uh, I invited it. so there was a girl this was back in like ah, twenty sixteen I'd say. Okay. Yeah, around there. Shoot that's a while. <laughs> um there's a girl that went to this car car meet every Wednesday that I used to go to. Okay. She was really cool and cute and fun and I'm like, you know, I was liking her, but I don't think she see how my same whack and what same way back. So I was like, one day after a while. I was like, hey, like we never hung out. But she was like really cool. And I'm thinking, like, why don't we hang out? Like, dude, I'm a normal human being. I'm... Yeah. So finally, this took a while. She, I was like, hey, let's go out to Pete and Del Rey, you know, hang out, just be so talk. She said, okay, cool. I'm down. And she got there. First, she got there late. Oh, no. Second, uh, I'm like, I, I was like probably this close to leaving because I got there first. And you now like, I'll get the first, get the table. 
she got there late and she was all kind of like, I don't know, like quiet and like almost seemed like she didn't want to be there. And I was trying to like keep the, you know, conversation. Yeah. Coming in. But, and after that, I think I never saw her again. And she, I think she just like stopped talking to me and I was like, oh, she goes to you? so yeah, she go she goes to me. Amazingly. I was blown away after that. She never contacted me ever again. I tried to contact you had, like boyfriend vibes. Like you gave her like those vibes. I have a feeling she might've hinted like, okay, this kid is into me. And I'm guessing the thing. I mean, like the happened. dinner reservation, you getting there. Yeah. probably. Yeah, I mean, it was it was pretty much a date. Which, listen, that is still... But I feel like that's honestly, you gave, you showed your intentions, you know? And, yeah. like, if that's what you wanted, then that's okay. And you know what? Maybe the universe gave you a less of a headache. And yeah. just, it was probably saying, nope, not here. Yeah, I that's the way I do it. Okay. I feel like a lot of people, too, like, they play a lot of games because like they want to keep that person intrigued. But for me, it's like, I am who I am and this is what I got and yeah. show me what you got. And you know what, if it doesn't work out, doesn't work then out. it's okay. That's completely okay. We move. Our normal. Like if I like somebody, you'll know. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty easy. You What's know? your sign? The what? What's your sign? My sign is Taros. Oh my God, I can tell. Can you really? Yes, yes. I was thinking that like Taurus or like Pisces for some reason. What's your sign then? Do you want to guess? If I get this right, does it prove what again that I'm pretty good? Okay. Hmm, hold on. I'm Taurus. No, 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 I can't. Are you I thinking about something you get along with? Oh, it's compatible with it? No, is that what you're thinking right now? I'm thinking like, okay, because I mean, I'm sometimes good at reading sign. Like Taurus is obviously stubborn to me. Yeah. I, <laughs> and there's other stuff, but uh, you, I'd, man, I'm going to take a wild guess here. Take a wild guess. It's okay. Wait, Libra? Libra? Yeah. No, not Libra. I'm a fire sign, baby. Oh. She wait, not Sagittarius? Yes, I'm gonna say Yeah, you know, I almost said that first. Mm-hmm. I was thinking, I was literally thinking, oh, Sagittarius, Libra. Seems like really open. Yeah, yeah. yes. Well, yeah. you know what? Literally. Oh, thank you. You know, I, I, I should just want to look at Sagittarius. I'm gonna stick with Sagittarius. I'm, I'm not fire, babe. I'm not fire. I mean, you are pretty open. Fire and looks, which we know. So, look at this. There's a degree out there. And, Slow but, Living, yeah. Sorry, I'm just. You light the ground on fire every time you walk through it. Just like, oh. There you go. That is me. That is. If you break a neck, I you know. I love Libras and Taurus too. Taurus too, but yeah, you guys are stubborn. Sorry. That's okay. I'm trying not to be that stubborn. Like I, I, I'm. I've learned to be more open, but the stubbornness is there. It's okay. It comes with it. It comes with it. I feel like Sagittarius are like known to be like very like self absorb but i feel like i don't i don't think i come out that way i hope i don't but if i do it's okay no i feel like i come out really so far no okay so far. i, I can so tell you we want to like self-absorbed but so far no okay good i see that a lot of that in both okay just a little bit i can't lie sometimes you know when you were like when you were introducing me you're like well today we're just gonna talk about you i was like i love that let's talk about <laughs> yeah, me it's like I should be like today. We're gonna talk about me. Yes, me. I love it. I love it. Oh, Let's wait. talk about me, baby. But JK, it's no, all you me. today. But you know, on my side of things, I mean, <laughs> I talk about the whole. It's, it's happened to a couple of times where like I'll do a podcast interview and like the person ends up interviewing me. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk. Fun. You know, I don't mind. But then I'm thinking, wait, no, it's about Let's you. Get back on track. <laughs> Hold on, look. This is really good. Like, we've been kind of like just flowing, you know. Just we're talking with about it. everything. We're talking about relationships. We're talking about business. We're talking about business relationships, signs, you know, uh, pet peeves. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, okay. So pet peeves about what though? Like, are we talking about business relationships? I say um, friendships. Like, what are we? What is like? like some, okay, you know? something that like you definitely in general, and not business, but like you just can't stand it. It'd be like so. Okay, I don't know. So people are like something out of out of place, or just 
stupidity or something. Oh my God. I feel like my biggest pet peeve is, mm-hmm. oh my God. What is my biggest pet peeve? Number that one, I would say like when somebody like, you know, when somebody's like, oh, like let's go out tonight. And then like, I don't know where they like cancel plans and like you're getting ready. Oh, like, hell. That, yeah. I will literally, I'll get so mad. I'll get so mad. And I, I really hate also like mm-hmm. when like common sense sometimes, like if I'm talking to somebody and they don't have any common sense, which that's kind of mean, but like I try not to show it, you know, but like common sense, I'm like, come on. Listen, now, you, you don't get it after I've done you this, I'm going to smack those, it. Those are my main t- common sense. I'm like, yeah. Oh man, I get that. You know, Puerto Rican. So, what happened? I mean, I, I'll get that too. With people like, I mean, there's stuff that just come on. I mean, I don't have to. You don't need me to explain it to. You. It's called sometimes Google. Uh, and like, I have a buddy of mine. I gotta say names. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, he'll call me for anything and everything. Yo, what do you think about this? Yo, should I do this? And I'm like, dude, do it. Like you don't yes. need to tell you. You oh can you can do it. Yes, I hate that too. That's you see, for me, <laughs> because, like for me, it's like I don't I feel like I don't need self-validation from anybody. Like oh. if I want to do something, like I will just do it. Like if that's what I want to do, like let's go. But some people need like validation all the time. I can't I'm bold. <laughs> you need validation? No, no, I'm bold with people. Like if you want validation from me, I'll tell you straight up what I think. If you like it Taurus. or don't like it, Taurus. <laughs> I, I mean, I can't help it. Like, it's, no, it's like, so I'm like that too. I'm like that too. Like I always ask my friends like a little like disclaimer. I'm like, okay, if you're venting to me, do you want an opinion or you want me to listen? Because okay. I will tell you my opinion and you might cry. <laughs> you're not going to like it. You're not going to so like it. You want to cry more or you want the truth? Yeah. yeah. I'm, t- I'm warning you. Yeah, no, I literally do a warning because it was a thing with my friends that they will get upset with me if I like set like the you honest the question. <laughs> you know. Seriously, seriously. Nah. So from now on, I do that disclaimer. So Diego, if you need my opinion, just know that I am going to tell you the truth. Okay. I'm not gonna sure. I might be able to handle the truth. Okay. Yeah. I'm just letting you know. Like, Diego, I will tell you the truth, but you may not like it. I'll be like, tell but me. I prefer that. I prefer that. Like, yeah, I, I prefer for you to be like horribly honest with me and for me to know that you're being like truthful than for you to like sugarcoat it. I hate that. I hate that's another pet peeve. Don't sugarcoat shit. Just rip the Wait, fucking baggie. Just tell you how it is. Like, literally, like my mom, whenever she tells me a story, like when she's able to tell me something, tell she me. like takes a long time to kind of process oh, it. Oh, what's a Latin thing? And I'm like, just tell me like a, a long story. I'm like, go to the point. What happened? Give me the main events, like the yep. starting, the beginning. Okay. The middle, the end. And that's it. Don't like, don't go up another side story. I hate yeah, that. I like, just I think that's the Latin thing. I feel like like my mom does it too. And everybody had like everyone that's Spanish that I know tends to do it. They'll tell like from the beginning. I'm like, no, I'll just tell you, this is what happened, bro. Like all like, the details. Like I put my coffee on the left hand and I was I'm like, I don't need to know that. Just tell me the what, details. Tell? what happened. What went down? What went down? I'm like ready to beat somebody up. Like what went down? Tell like, me. Tell me. Did he did he call your name? What name? I'll kill you. I'll, I'll find no. it. Seriously. Seriously. So just a little impatient, you know. That's I think that's also I, I'm the same way. Like just tell me the point. That's all that's all I wanna know. I don't need to know the backstory. I don't care about the backstory. Yeah. And I think if you, I mean, okay, this depends on the event, but if it's the same event every day, there's a problem. Mm. I mean, I just, um, and especially if I've said what I thought already and you still don't take the advice, I'm like, listen, I don't want to hear about it anymore. You do what you got to do. <laughs> so sad. That's so sad. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, that, that tends to happen with a certain somebody that I, that I know. Cool. Oh. Your yeah, friend? My friend, yep. Oh. You, yeah. I don't know who this friend is, but you I feel like you want to say his name. I don't know. Like I put it on the screen. No, I don't want No, I, no seriously. Cool, but sometimes you gotta just you know lay down the hammer. 
a little bit. So I call it a tough love. You can cry. I don't give a shit. But tough love it is, man. Make them cry. Make them cry. I'll make you they cry. Can't handle it. Yeah. If they can't handle it, then at least you're being true to yourself. And that's the most important part. I'll how tell you it. once, but I'm not going to tell you five times. No. no. Especially if it's the same thing I already told you. It's like, listen, oh. if you don't get it the first time, I don't know what's going on, man. <laughs> Recording. Let me take a little bit right now. Let me say. Hold on. I want to think. Oh, you have a little filter. I put a little filter on you. Hold on. Oh, yeah. You got a filter on me now? Please you. Please hold. No, why can I do like, hold on. I, the filter needs to be on me, not on you. Oh, you gave me the side profile? Okay. That's okay, my sorry. That's my famous look right now. For everybody out there, this is my famous look. Wow. Like, that was good. That was good. I so, like, don't just pose? No. Let me just tag you on this. Hold on. Tag it. Be like, yo, this is what we're doing on a Wednesday evening. we chilling, chatting, zooming. Hey, what's your Instagram? It's, um, oh, Rad Vision Studios. But there's an underscore between Rad Vision and Studios. That one. Wait, can you spell it out? I mean, I have a spelling problem. I oh. really don't know how to spell. I don't know how I graduated high school, but. Oh, boy. No, it's um, so it's R A D D. Okay. D D. Okay. 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 Vision all together. And then. Got it. Got it. Got it. Ooh, I was this close to saying something else, but I didn't want to say it. D D. <laughs> no, I gotta say it. Yes. We all know that joke, that classic joke. No. Is this recording again? Are we recording? It, it's recording. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, listen, I was going to tell you, any last questions for me before we wrap this up? Let's see. So role model. Oh, we can say like, OK, here we go. So role model, your, your main role model in life. Last advice to people out there, like life advice, you know. And OK, oh, I love that. that's a good one. And then where to find you on social. And I'll obviously put that. OK, let's get to it. So, my role model, woo, um, I feel like my role model is definitely my mom. She's very just, she's like a power woman. And I feel like she just gives it her all, works very hard. She's been a single mom for since I can remember. So, definitely she inspires me and she's amazing and she made me I'm like i'm freaking awesome so it's kind of like i mean there you go there's a prime example right there gotta be the role model you know yeah and for you said the question was what say it again <laughs> so again my um oh advice like advice to i guess the youth or like just in general about life Ooh. like advice yeah so I feel like my advice that I will give everyone is just pretty much what we talk about today, just staying true to yourself and loving yourself and being patient because that is like the most important part when it comes to growing and just living life, honestly. That is the most important part. So yeah. loving yourself, being patient and keep on going. Keep on going, keep on moving. That's the way I look at things too. I'm not gonna lie. You can't never get stuck. You, you get stuck. Get I mean, you know. Because it's uh, always gonna have like ups and downs, you know, like yeah. life is always gonna come with a pro and con with everything that you do. Even doing something that you love, it's always gonna have a con and you just have to keep on pushing and doing what you love and staying true to yourself. That's amen to that. That's gonna be in a Bible. Don't, don't cry, Diego. Don't cry. I know. I'm getting like, wait, I'm not going to end the video. I'm just like, I know. I'm getting so deep. We can't have that on camera. I know. Yeah. I mean, that'll be good. That'll be good for camera. You can cry if you want. I put That's a okay. filter. Yeah. <laughs> well, and it comes to where to find me, um, you guys you. can find me. What happened? But yeah, where to find you. We know. Yes. yes. Um, you guys can find me on Instagram. My business name is Lashley Browse beauty and my model page is la prieta la underscore p-r-i-e-t-a underscore 
on this call. My model page, you know. And yeah, my YouTube is coming up soon. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it yet. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. And Diego, you were great. Thank you for having Thank me. I really, it was really fun. Liked. Finally get to see you. And the next one is going to be me going there. Yeah. And oh visiting. God, yeah. So that's going to be coming real soon. Yeah. We know it. Yes. We need to do YouTube with that. It's yeah. going to be your next YouTube video. I, I could do a vlog. Oh my God. You're breaking. No. Okay. So, yeah, okay, you're back. <laughs> Next YouTube video, you're gonna be in here. You're gonna be like, okay, I'm here finally. You're gonna be shooting. I'm gonna be shooting you shooting here. Like Whoa. it's gonna be the whole thing. As in, oh, it's gonna be fun. Then we get to eat. Then we get to hang out. Boom. As in, I mean, I mean, in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I'm okay. down. I'll let you know like maybe five, few days prior. I'm gonna go visit. Okay, let's do it. I'm down. We need. I want. I want you to do this video for me. So let's get it together. I'll bring myself with me. It's going down. The Perry cell. <laughs> it was fun, and we'll be in touch. And see you guys, everybody, on the next podcast episode. Wow! Yes, amazing. Bye, guys. Bye.